Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. You know, uh, theory is a bit confusing sometimes, so don't worry if you don't understand at the first time. Uh, anyways, you can always write me your doubts in the comments or my Instagram. Uh, so let's start. Like I said before, I'm going to try to keep it simple, but it is still theory, so you probably won't learn much if you don't handle a notebook. And believe me when I tell you that you are going to end up using it more than you think. So if you are going to watch this video, please have a notebook. Uh, have your notebook ready, okay? Uh, and if you are just going to buy your first guitar, to learn to play lo-fi and stream music, I recommend you to start with a classical or Spanish guitar. The, uh, you know, these guitars are designed to be played with the fingers, so, you know, it's better, right? Music is like learning a new language, so before we start playing, we need to know a few basics. Uh, for that, let's look at this piano. Let's observe that there are black and white keys, so the white keys have a defining name and together they form the natural scale and it sounds like this uh, This scale is from which almost the entire musical structure emerged Let's note that it sounds good, so later I will explain the importance of this scale uh, Anyways Black keys have relative names, for example, this note can be C-sharp or D-flat. We use the symbols to say that a note is a semitone above or below a certain note. A semitone is the immediate distance between two notes, for example in this case. And a tone is like two semitones, it's just like that. And in this case. Then if we analyze the natural scale, we will see that the structure is like tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and it repeats. I know that what we have seen up to this point does not seem to be very useful for playing the guitar, but believe me, it was necessary for you to know, and now we can start the fun part. Um, let's remember the natural scale. Now we are going to assign degrees that we will write them in Roman numerals. Uh, we are going to use this to build our chords. So we are going to see a quick concept that uh, is uh, formulas. Now chords have formulas, and this is how we classify chords. And what well, is, uh, for example, like a sandwich? Uh, a sandwich must have at least bread, meat, cheese, and and cheese, it is the basic thing, right? But you can add lettuce, bacon, tomatoes, sauces and countless ingredients, right? But regardless of all the ingredients, uh, it still feels like a sandwich uh, because it has the basic thing, you know? Uh, what would happen if instead of bread, do we use a fish, for example? Uh, it would no longer a sandwich because the basic structure is changed, so it is the same with chords. There are five main types of chords, uh, major, minor, dominant, diminished and half diminished, and each one has its own formula, so don't worry, I explain this so that you can now understand where the chords come from. Uh, you don't have to memorize it, just understand it. So. Now let's uh, build some chords, so... And now, let's build some chords for the C note. Uh, for this we are going to use two ancient and wise manuscripts, uh, the circle of fifths, and this one right here that shows us the notes of the guitar in standard tuning, so let's see how to use the circle of fifths. So, uh, the circle of fifths is a very useful tool that saves us need to know all the scales by memory and uh, 
now let's see why okay so we have the circle of hips right here and you know let's find the c major scale but if you you know use this uh, method you can find all the major scales of all notes so we only need uh, this circle and you know if we take these six squares right here uh, we get the six degrees of the c major scale and the seven degree is from here all right you can apply this to all the notes okay you only need to you know move this uh, uh, for example if we want to find the notes of the f major scale we only move this like this and if we for example wanted to know the i don't know g major scale we only need to move like this and that's how we find all the notes so this is very important we are going to find the chords of the c major scale so but it's the same if you wanted to know you know all the in i don't know in g or f or all the notes right it's the same okay so let's start with the c major chord and like i said before chords have formulas so we need to know the formulas first and this is the formula of the major chords you know this is a triad this is the basic structure of a um, major chord so this is like the sandwich all right you can have a chord uh, with a lot of notes but if that chord have this basic structure is a major chord it's like the same with the sandwich you can have a sandwich with a lot of ingredients but if that sandwich have bread meat cheese is a sandwich so it is the same and uh, you know usually in lo-fi and static music we use four note chords and that's because the tensions so we use these three notes that you know you want a major chord you use these three notes and uh, you use uh, a tension but i'll explain that later all right so first let's with the basic chord so it's a C major chord, so the first will be C and the third will be E and the fifth will be G so if we play these three notes uh, it sounds like this and it sounds good but it could still sound more complete and for that we add uh, again the C uh, note that we have in the second string and we have the major chord the popular C major chord all right okay so we build the C major chord but it doesn't sound very aesthetic so we still do not have that characteristic sound of this music and that's because we need tensions right tensions are additional notes that we use to make a chord sound dissonant right uh, we usually say that the major chords represent happiness and the minor ones uh, sadness but but in life there is no perfect happiness or sadness you know you can have uh, some happiness with sadness and all the stuff right so uh, life is full of these mixed, mixed moments that we represent in music so we do that through tensions in lo-fi and static music at least we use a 7 in all chords all right let's see how the chord that we have already built uh, changes so we have right here the c major chord and the c major 7 chord it's different right but uh, how we go from C major chord to a C major 7 chord is it if we know that our chord must now have a 7th then we add the 7 degree that will be B so now instead of playing C we play B but 
The seven is not the only tension and in fact we have three other important tensions, the ninth, the eleventh and the thirteenth and I recommend to add these uh, tensions on a seven tri triad but the truth is that you can do <laughs> what sounds best to you, right? Uh, but if we use the triad, you know, the seven triad that means that we now have an alternative structure which will be like this and then on that new triad we will add the three new tensions and maybe you are thinking that you have to do all this every time you go to play guitar but the truth is that it is not necessary uh, once we build the shape of our chord it is enough to do the same shape but at another fret I don't want to make a 3 hour long video but you know uh, I can show you the shape of the most used chords in lo -fi. Uh I'm not going to build all the chords because it takes a lot of time um, you know but if you want to practice uh, building them you know do it all right it is good and remember to use your notebook because these chords are uh, you know without these chords you can play lo-fi right so it is good to use your notebook uh, write the tabs and well use the chords right Now that we have seen all the basic chords, we're going to learn how to compose lo-fi and string music. So there are several ways to do it, but I always prefer to use the Greek modes. You know, these modes are created from the natural scale. And if you want to know where the modes come from, you can tell me or search in the internet. So I prefer not to explain this because it takes time, a lot of time. So. I will skip everything to go directly to what we apply to compose lo-fi and string music. Ok, so these are the modes, but to harmonize lo-fi and string music we are only going to use the ionic mode or major scale and the aeolian mode or natural minor scale. Ok, so for the natural scale Right, only for the natural scale we have a very useful tool called tonal functions. Right, uh, this tool describes a movement in our harmony so that our harmony makes sense. Okay, so here we have the harmonized C major scale, and uh, you know, to compose we need our ideas to make sense, as I said before. Uh, so, first, third, and six will be rest chords. Right, these chords generate a sense of resolution and rest. We usually use these chords to resolve a problem or resolve tension, right? And that tension will be fifth, the fifth and the seventh. These are tension or dominant chords. Uh, 
these are chords that represent a problem or a situation that seeks resolution. And the fourth and the second are chords that serve as a bridge between tension and rest chords. Okay, um, to explain myself better is like telling a story, alright? For example, today I was bo worried because I had nothing to eat, alright? That would be a problem and the normal thing would be to represent it with a dominion chord or tension chord, right? And then I went to the start, alright? That would be a subdominant because it would be the development of the story, right? This subdominant is what prior to a resolution or another problem, right? And you know, in this story, your friend Bonacera was lucky and got some food, so there will be a chord of rest. And this chord tells us that the problem was solved and the story is ended. So our story uh, will be like this. It sounds good, but you know, in real life, stories are not so simple. Maybe there was nothing in the store, or while you were trying to buy, someone came and tried to rob the store, you know. Uh, many possibilities that you can express on the music. About the harmony with the melodic minor scale, I'm just gonna say that it's complicated, alright? Because in this scale, we don't have tonal functions, alright? Or these functions are not clear, alright? And that's because sadness is a feeling that already has a lot of tension, so it's, uh, it's not entirely possible to say which chords are dominant or, you know, resting chords, because it's something more personal, alright? I am not going to go into details about the construction of these scales because with the knowledge that you already have it will not be difficult for you to find them if you want to know how they are built um, so I'm just going to pass them on to you right uh, so that you don't have any problem Each scale is related to its own mode and its own degree, but the truth is that we can use the scale that we want on to play on any chord, uh, but only if it is of the same time. For example, to play on F major 7, we can play Ionic F or Lydian F. This is basically how lo-fi and string music work on the guitar. Okay, so we are going to analyze Sunset Sunrise by Snow. And, well, the first thing we are going to uh, do is find a single note, you know. For that we need to know the melody, because uh, we need to find the melody to to you know have uh, to find the harmony so first will be sing you know i sing because it is easier in that way so uh the melody is like -da 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 -da. it's like ah like it's right here 
so this is the sorry da, da, da. so uh, base it on some scale I recommend uh, to use the major scale first because it's the most common we're going to f uh, try to find the rest of the melody so the major scale is like this uh, here's the note so we need to find the major scale that have this uh, this note so. this is the root of the scale so let's try yes, it's, in, it's in the major scale this is the root I know that this is a B flat this is B flat so it's in the key ok so I know that this uh, note right here is the B flat is a B flat so we play the the major scale so the root of that major scale is right here this note right here is B flat so the key is B flat and the scale is major alright so the only thing we need is to find the first chord so this is done by analyzing the feeling that the first chord gives so this is something that requires practice because it is quite personal but just as we already know that we are in the key of B flat basically we already know the seven possible chords uh, that I have here my my circle of fifths and remember that you know this this is the first and that will be the first six degrees and here the the seven degree okay so this uh, you have to apply the the formula of the harmonized uh, major scale and then you have all the seven chords of the possible seven chords all right uh, the possible chords on this song are these seven, all right? Basically, um, if you don't know the difference in the sound of the tonal functions, remember that we have three of them: we have rest chords, we have dominant, we have subdominant. Um, then, uh, if you don't know the difference in the sound of of that functions, you can try the seven chords of the scale and see which one works. You know. Uh, Anyways, the feeling that the first chord gives to me is uh, a sound of development of the story, right? So, the first chord will be a fourth or a second degree, because remember the the tonal functions I actually have, right? I have the tonal functions right here. These are the rest degrees, you know, far, uh, first, third, and uh, six will be rest chords. Um, this will be dominant, so problem chords or tension. It will be five and seven, and subdominant will be um, this is four and two. So probably um, the first chord will be fourth or second. All right. So we have here uh, the scale. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one one degree, so it will be major. The, the first, sorry, second will be minor, and four, one two three four will be major. All right. So uh, let's try. It's not. Do you hear that? Is this because of the tonal functions? Then we point to tension. Tension, this is a, the 5 degree. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this will be dominant. Uh, I'm not going to try the 7th because it's 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And this chord, you know, does doesn't sound good so probably is the this five why why I said that this is the second chord will be dominant because at the end of the 
you know, ba da 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 da. It's a rest. So, so why I said that uh, the second chord would be dominant, and this is because we cannot solve tension without first having tension. Okay, so we if we have a rest. Uh, this is the first degree. This is a rest chord because we can resolve tension if we don't have tension. All right. So this is tension, and this is resolving the tension. And all the song is like this. You know, this is a two-five-one progression, very common in jazz. And now that we know the basic structure, we can play a bit with the song. Um, for example, it's the same doing this. It's the same because this is B flat. This is B flat. If we do remember the shape of the major chord in the uh, five string. It's the same. Uh, this is B flat major seven. B flat major seven. It's the same. And um, second degree, one, two, second degree, and this is an F, we like like this, basic, this is a basic song, right, but we can add, for example, this is a diminished chord, we use diminished chords, for example, in this case, so instead of doing we can do instead of doing we can do is a uh, diminished chord out for you know it's like uh, add more colors to the song but if we add a diminished chord, would be like if we want to add a diminished chord for for this uh, chord, then we have to do it here. Right? It's the same. This is a C diminished. So we can play with this. For example, or like this. Diminish. And why why I, I can use this you know, this chord uh, is because I'm using chords of other keys. You know, um, for example, we have that half diminished. This is a half diminished chord. This is a D. So this is D half diminished. And if we look at the, if we look at our circle of fifths, D isn't half diminished. It's a minor chord because this is the third degree. Okay. So how I can, so why I can use this? It's because we have D flat, all right? We have a, we are using um, chords from the key of E flat, all right? Because um, in the key of E flat, we have D half diminished. And in the key of C, we have this D that points to a, to a C, all right? This D points to a C, that the C is here, is in the key of P flat, C is minor, okay? C is minor. Uh, this half diminish uh, is a tension chord. So wants to resolve to, uh, to the first degree, right? But the first degree here is major. Why uh, we, you know, going from this is minor, minor, uh, C minor, and here 
the first degree of the C major scale is major. Why we uh, we can use that? Because this C is in the key of B flat, uh, our original key of the original key of the song. The key is the key is um, B flat. So in B flat we have C, and C is minor. So D has diminished points to a C. That is a C minor in the key of B flat. This C is a second degree. Is a second degree. This second degree points to resolve to a B. So this works because we are um, resolving all the tension. Da, resolve. Da, it's like da, resolve, and then goes to a da, to resolve to a B flat. Sounds good, right? We can add, for example, this is this is also a, a C minor. So this is a, a F F dominant, but with the distension. And that's how we can, um, you know, change the basic harmony of the song. And we can do a lot of things. And it's the same when we are going to compose music, right? Okay, so this is going to be faster and simpler than the previous analysis because you already know how this works. So, first, melody, okay? Uh, this is on the key of F. Then it goes like this. This note is, is in, you know, is not from this key because the, the major scale is like this. It's not like this. Bec and the song is like this. This note is wrong. We can say that this note is in the key of F. This note in the key of F doesn't exist, alright? So, this is because this song is changing, you know, we are change, we are changing the keys we are playing in the key of F and the key of G. I'm gonna explain why, alright? So, this is the progression, you know, progression of the song. This is the first degree, first degree, remember, we are in the key of F, so first degree, then we Go to a G minor seven. That is the right here. Is the second degree, right? Minor. And then C seven. That is a dominant. You know, it's like the you know previous uh, analysis. Uh, it's a two five one. So it's like this. I I add this one diminish actually this is not a, a C7 actually this is a C9 because this is the this is not the seven tension this is uh, we can play a lot with this and then this is a B flat right? B flat and goes pointing to a A minor 7 why? because this is 4 this is a 4 degree that means that you know, tonal functions, the fourth degree is a subdominant. That means that point to a 
or a dominant dominant or to a rest chord all right because it's a development okay this is a why this chord this chord you know in the key of f we can have this dominant chord this is a d7 all right this chord is not from it's not from from the F uh, key. That's because, as I said before, we have this note right here. Okay, this is the and this is the key of G. This is this is the this is G. All right. Then we are going to play the G major scale. So G. Do you remember this note? This note is from the G major scale, and the melody is like this. Um, that's because we can use uh, chords from the G major scale, because we are using a note from the G major scale. So in the G major scale, G major scale, this is the 5, okay? This is D dominant. That means in the key of you know, second, first, second degree, five degree, and the song goes diminish. That's why we can use that note because this is the sixth degree, right? Sixth degree in the key of F. It's actually this uh, minor in the sixth degree. The sixth degree in the F major scale is minor. So if we, uh, you know, if we play on F, it will be like this. Just just playing in F. All right. Do you hear that? It doesn't sound good. So in the key of F, this should be minor. All right. It sounds terrible. It sounds bad. All right. But we are using this note. This is the G major scale, right? In the G major scale, remember, G major scale. This is the five. The five is dominant that's why we can because this is D as it will be the five the fifth degree of the G major scale all right so we we are playing in F that uh, points to a uh, to the G this is the G key right we are in the key of G right now with this chord and then we go back to the F major, F major scale. Actually, we can. And that's how music works, basically.